morning mm -hmm. and folks there are concerned about water spouts tonight. Here we just got the showers. The showers are starting to fill in over Wilkesboro, Yakinville. This is very light rain, maybe some light drizzle sprinkles, not enough to really get your windshield wipers, I think, going a whole lot. But you're starting to see the initial line build for us right now. And here's that marine warning. Yeah, intense thunderstorms here. These are capable of producing water spouts, simply tornadoes over the water. And you're seeing the warm fronts here down to the south lifting our way. And tonight we're going to continue to see those rain chances increase to 90%, at least for part of our day tomorrow through about middle of the day for the triad. And then we back off on those rainfall opportunities for the afternoon and evening, but we could still see some light rainfall linger through the early evening. Our best rain chances though developing through midday. 30% chance of rain mainly late Sunday won't be a complete washout this weekend though. We do add in rain chances higher on Monday again with scattered showers developing there. So umbrellas definitely tomorrow. I would recommend it and your rain gear. It's going to be cooler. We've got scattered showers developing through morning heavy at times through middle of the morning and then late afternoon we begin to see things wind down tapering off and it's brisk. Now, some of our forecast models have continued to see the system linger. I'll show you the timing change on this here in just a minute. 64 degrees in Greensboro right now, 65 in Burlington. We had upper 70s today. They're not in the forecast for your Friday. Unfortunately, you see the cloud cover is in place. The showers are lifting in from 5 AM through 6 AM looks light, but then you've got these heavier pockets here from Lexington south and west out through Charlotte. So doing any traveling on 77 and south, we expect to see some of these heavier waves roll in. Maybe a little break in the action from time to time. You're sitting in the mid and upper 50s at the lunch hour, and then you've got these waves rolling through. You might see an isolated thunderstorm, mainly south and east, if we can get one going. Most folks, though, we're too uh, stable uh, to see much in the way of thunderstorm activity, just simply showers for the most part. Notice by 5 o'clock, still some lingering rain, at least on this latest update in our forecast model. This is one of our higher resolution models, so I may not be able to clear you out quite as quickly now through the dinner hour. We're going to be watching for any other timing changes. Changes. Meteorologist Brian Slocum is going to have that for you in the morning and through the noon hour as well. Those temperatures, they don't really budge. We are lucky if we get to 60 degrees tomorrow in the triad. We start you out in those upper 40s and low 50s. At least the morning is pretty mild. But you need layers. You know, this is a pretty chilly day compared to where we've been. So some big temperature drops here along with those rain chances that begin to back off by the afternoon. So you see we see a little ramp up in those rain chances through the noon hour. They back off for the foothills too from Mount Airy through North Wilkesboro and in the mountains. Your rain chances start to drop off a little later in the afternoon too. All right, pollen counts are high today. Tomorrow they're going to be moderate and we're going to be washing you out. So those rainfall totals. Yeah, a possibility of a quarter to a half an inch. And as we look ahead to the weekend, we're going to dry out just in time for some of the big festivals coming up in Greensboro. We've got on Saturday, April 6th at Price Park. Lots of fun Earth Day activities, and this is hosted by the Greensboro Public Library. They even have hay rides out there, live music and great STEM activities along with hands on nature. So for the weekend, we're going to clear you out some on Saturday. You're still going to have some clouds in the mix along with that morning fog and mid 70s. Those rain chances look right now to be best late Sunday. So pretty dry weekend 70s through Monday and Tuesday, along with showers, scattered storms possible for the afternoon hours, and then we dry out next Wednesday.